Up boarding nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for monster number 8 chapters 36 through 39. So last time I covered this manga, Kafka um, basically surrendered, went to the main um, HQ and yeah, um, I don't know who the real monster is anymore. Uh, the, um, the commander who's using a monster gear or Kafka, like dude's a fucking beast, man. Anyway, let's get to chapter 36 first. See what's in store for us today. An iron fist that shatters Kafka's will to be human. Well, yeah, he has to, you know, be in monster form. You gave him no fucking choice. Kafka and Vino. Woo! Thank good you finally shown yourself, monster. Hello, Pot. Have you met Kettle? Ooh. I gotta tell you. Matsumoto, your monster art is looking better and freaking better by the chapter. My god. Especially this panel when we're getting the full frontal, or I should say the uh, from the uh, chest up frontal, it looks so much better. The musculature looks fantastic. And that look on Kafka's face is beautiful. Huh? He seems... Boy, oh, he's roaring. That roar looks freaking awesome, too. Oh, my God. Well, you gave him no goddamn choice, you asshole. You were the one picking a fight. What? I'm right. There's something wrong. What the hell is with this? My body won't listen to me. Ooh, shit, I'm far from proving that I'm human. I'm completely just a monster right now. Ooh, this, this is very, very Attack on Titan. Damn straight it is. Kill, kill. Ooh, he's coming face to face. A kill monster. This is very interesting because this is something we did not see in Attack on Titan where, um, where, you know, like Aaron or, um, or Armin did not face, you know, the tar uh, the Titan within them. No, we have Kafka facing, you know, the monster, the parasite that, you know, that makes him a monster within him. Shit, we don't, haven't seen this in, um, in Jogon either. Which I find very, fa this is why I find this very fascinating. Woo! And that's what, and that's why, um, I said, like I said at the beginning of this live reaction, who is the real monster at this point? The commander might be a monster for all we know, because if, um, if the, you know, the parasite slash monster that, you know, that makes Kafka a monster is saying kill monster. That makes you wonder. Makes you wonder if Commander is a monster too. It's fast. However, it's merely a beast attack and mindful of the opportunity to, it creates after the strike. Ooh, crack, snap, crack. Woo! A self-destructive attack with regeneration in mind. I see. I'll be knocked off my feet if I uh, think with the common sense of humans. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? I just realized it. It reminds me, in a way, of Chainsaw Man. It does. But at the same time, it's different because Pachita was very self-aware. Pachita didn't go into the savage mindset like this. Um... Well, yeah, Pach uh, yeah, when Pachita took over um, Denji, um, Pachita just went on a goddamn rampage. But at the same time, like, it wasn't like kill, 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 kill on the inside. No, nah, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that, but to an extent. No! Daddy! If I didn't have number two shield, that would have been instant death. Dude, if you didn't have number two on you and you didn't pick this fight, you wouldn't be dealing with this shit, idiot. Whoosh. Stop. Ooh. Troop style hand-to-hand -hand co uh, combat second form. 
Blast! Dude, that ain't gonna do shit! Expanding the hit range with the sonic boom, it's an attack number two used often. Where's the core? Dude. It's not gonna do shit. He used his body as bait and regenerated from his core. This is a crazy fighting style. My body won't hold up at this rate. Woo! You've gotta be kidding me. This is the sturdiest shelter and it's only two layers were damaged. Theoretically, you can withstand up to Resilience 10. It's only natural that there'd be some damage because traveling across time, uh, two numbered monsters... Um, number two and number eight are fighting, too. This panel. Ooh. Number two looks goddamn fast. Not gonna lie. I'm still waiting for the commander to transform into monster number two. This is amazing. Daddy's equally matched against a numbered monster by himself. Kafka ain't even using all his power. You know, it is a tad odd. Odd? If he plans to kill him, he should have finished him in his human form on that first blow. In spite of that, that man... It looks like he's purposely putting pressure on number eight to test him. Although I don't know why. Hmm, I, might, I myself have had my life saved by him. I plead for clemency with your treatment of him. Could it be? Daddy, you're giving Kafka and Bino a chance to live? Ooh, interesting. That wouldn't surprise, actually, that wouldn't surprise me. He's testing, um, and he's also kind of testing Kafka's power too. To see how powerful he really is. Anyway, this is bad. Number eight strength is starting to surpass Esau's ex expectations. The true monster number eight, uncontro uh, uncontrollable. Yeah. And now we're at chapter num uh, 37. This is bad. The manifestation of unwilling destruction. Number eight strength is starting to surpass Isao's um, expectations. Daddy, Kafka Abino. Crap, I have to stop this bastard number eight. Woo! Troop style hand-to-hand -hand combat. Second form. Double blast. Dude, that ain't gonna do shit. See, I told you. Like I said. Number eight hasn't used his full power. Number eight barely using his power. Let's be real. Shield output at full throttle. Ooh. I'm waiting. I, again, I'm waiting for Esau to just be taken over by the monster. Stop, damn it. At this rate, the chief will... No way in hell. I'm not going to be killing Kikoro's father right in front of her eyes. Ooh. The moment I find out that you're a monster that brings harm to humanity, I'll be the one to kill you. I, I will still believe in him even then. Don't lose to the likes of a monster, Kafka, you idiot. Ooh. Ooh. Seeing Kafka, like, pull out like this. I know that's a major phrasing. Pull out like this and go after, go through um, the mouths of the parasite. That's very interesting. Huh? I'm always like this. I always fail at the most crucial moment. Ooh. Shit, shit, shit. I have my hopes for you, but this is it, huh? I'll always be waiting. Oh, he's thinking of his waifu. Rah! Yeah! I... I'm not monster number eight. I'm Kafka Vino! Yeah! By following his promise, he returns. Yeah! And yes, I forgot to mention this too. And I should mention it. It's very um, symbiote-esque. Yes, yes, yes. It is very, um, oh my God, it's very Venom. That's what it, that's what it also is reminding me of. It's very Venom. Yes, yes, yes. And now we're at chapter 38. I'm not monster number eight. I'm Kafka Ibino as a human being, as a member of the defense force. I am still surprised Esau hasn't transformed into monster number two. I still think, because he's, Imagine how many times he's used that gear. At some point, he gotta tra he gotta transform. Put your weapon away. Um. Put your weapon away, Okanogi. Woo. 
<sighs> Since you weren't sending out any requests for backup, um, Defense Force First Unit Commander uh, Gen Okanogi, I thought you were planning to die like that. Don't be foolish, though. I do admit that it exceeds my expectations. Medical unit, come and collect number eight immediately. There's a chance the core is damaged. So, what are you planning on doing with it? As of now, number eight will be used as part of our military power without turning into a weapon. Thank God! I oppose we cannot use a living monster. It's too dangerous. I'm not monster number eight. I'm Kafka Hibino. I've come to the conclusion that it is controllable. Thank God. In actuality, look, I, you know what? I'm going to change my mind about what I was saying about Esau. I understand why Esau is doing this. He wanted to put push Kafka to his limits to see if he can control it, especially when there's there's higher level monsters nearby. So, I will give you props on that, Esau. I will. In actuality, it spent a few months uh, carrying out missions with the third unit. There's also no telling the level of power it will generate after weaponizing it. Furthermore, there's a possibility the weapon is sealed away due to having no, um, no one having uh, capability with it, just like number six. Ooh, just imagine if Kafka is able to use number six in monster form. Dude, I better be seeing that at some point. I want to see Kafka use monster number six in monster form. I need that in my life. I need that in my fucking life. In these times when the mega monsters are appearing in hordes, I'll make use of the military strength to its fullest. However, there aren't any precedents. Precedent? Something like that is trivial compared to the protection of this country. Gets it. It's not as if you've all forgotten the cluster type catastrophe that occurred 10 years ago with number six at the center. Again, I want Kafka to use that number six weapon. We've lost the lives of over 200 troop members and three commanders, your wife as well. Currently in Japan, there are, um, uh, there are less than 30 troop members who are capable of fighting, uh, who are of a uh, capable level uh, to fight mega monsters. Uh, less than Less than 10 if fighting single-handedly, even if um, even fewer troop members when it comes to fighting uh, numbered monsters. In the case of a cluster-type monster outbreak, that is far beyond our expectations. This country would easily fall into ruins. If we are able to use number 8's phenomenal power, it will become our ray of hope. Well, duh. Even so, we... We are against it. You fuckers are stupid! How do you not understand? What's this? Mina, is she crying? Ah, this was when we took uh, Miko to the uh, crematory. Come on, uh, say goodbye to Miko. I thought to myself that I could never forgive the monster that made me to cry this much. That's why if, if my body and mind were going to become that of a monster, I wanted to die as a human. I'm alive? Are you awake? Ch Chief Shinomiya? No need to be on guard. I'm not planning on hurting you. Oh, thank goodness. If something happened to you, Chief, I would have felt too, uh, um, too ashamed to face Kikoro. Since I was allowed to live, does this mean I was deemed a human, a troop member? If what's in that chest of yours was a fragile heart of a human, you would have most likely have died. Duh. I'll state my conclusion. You're a monster. However, I'll put the matter of um, if you're an enemy or not on hold. Um. Okay. Kafka Hibino. He... Call me by my my name? Yep. Currently, most are against the idea of keeping you alive. Oh my god, I fucked this up. Kafka Hibino. There we go. He called me by my name? Yep. Currently, most are against the idea of keeping you alive. To stay alive, show your usefulness. So, I'm only just barely kept alive as a weapon. Duh! I still think of myself as a member of the Defense Force. I'll definitely make myself acknowledged as a troop member as well. Um, Kunitachi City, 23rd floor, residential building, Kunitachi. Ooh, there's monster number nine. Well then, my body's ready to, oh, my body's ready for this. Time to retrieve the power of monsters that have fallen into human hands. Uh, that, oh my god. Time to retrieve the power of monsters that have fallen into human hands. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, 
Monster uh, number eight, Cabino is going to use the powers of monster number six. He's going to be equipped with that shit. He's going to be OP as hell, and I'm going to live, live, live for this. The threat reappears damn straight, and, oh, God. You know what? It's not going to be against this motherfucker, though. Nah. It's going to be against the true Mega Monsters, unless monster number nine, um has to use, uh, unless monster number nine requires more than 50% of Habino's power, he's not going to be equipped with monster number six, uh, number six. Nah. But at some point, monster number, uh, Habino going to be using monster number six. He will. And I will live so, so much for this shit. Anyway, now we're at the final, um, uh, chapter of this live reaction, chapter 39. So, um, Mina Ashiro to me. Kakuhabino's disposal put on hold. Good news with a bit of hope, however, but I can't just be happy about it. I have to get even stronger. Otherwise, when the time comes, I won't be able to stop him. Sorry to make you wait, troop member Shinomiya. I'll guide you to the commander's room. Vice commander of the first unit, um, Iji Hasegawa. I'm sure the third unit's commander Ashiro has mentioned it. But until the uh, Tachikawa base is restored, you'll be joining us in the first unit. Yes, sir. Um, the first unit, the strongest core unit here in Japan, the Mass Monster Country. Um, it was famous even in America where I used to be. This is the perfect place for me to polish my skills. Excuse me, the commander of Japan's strongest unit. I'll be learning everything I can from you. Let me introduce you. This is the Japan Defense Force first unit commander, Narumi uh, Narumi get. <laughs> oh god the way to make me think of um oh my god this is very l ask only a little more to platinum rank only a, a little more to platinum rank wait here for a second all right five kills and four uh, this is really making me think of lead too let's be real all right five kills and four assists i got this in the back one of rank <laughs> oh my PS5! Are you a demon of the gala? Bastard, I wish I had a PS5. Didn't I tell you to clean your room since I'd be coming at 2 p.m.? Yeah, I heard you. But isn't it my freedom to choose Ah! <laughs> but isn't it my freedom to choose whether to act upon it or not after hearing that? Dude, smart. God, I, I can't help but think of Brian in regards to that. God damn it. Why are you making my think of my late mans? Ugh. Don't be saying it. He would say it in that way too. I'm not going to lie. Don't be saying it in such a dignified way. I know that you were just lazy. <laughs> oh, my 1 100 scale Gundam. This is my room. Isn't it my freedom to use my room um, however I want in the first place? It's not yours. It's the Defense Forces property. And also, you're the one who gets bothered when my room is dirty, so shouldn't you be the one to clean it? Don't push the work on the me. I see, then you'll take us. Uh, I see, then I'll take you up on that offer. Do it! Um, uh, don't touch my stuff without my permission. I'll do it! I'll do it myself! This is, uh, the Commander Narumi. Best regards. What should I do? Uh, what should I do? I'm not feeling an ounce of respect towards him. Oh, are you the rumored daughter of Mr. Esau? Um, no. No, no. Even if he's like the... Dude, this is lead. This is lead! This is lead! This is lead in commander form. If you have read Marabushita or Rubicon, you know this is lead. You know this is lead. No, no. Even if he's like this, this guy, uh, this, this guy, this person is a superior officer. I'm Kikaro Shinomiya from the third unit. I will be under the care of the first unit. Please give me any order as you see fit. No need to be so humble. I don't need formal greetings. There's only one thing I desire from you as the commander of the first unit. By one thing, what? Oh, an attack. Perfect timing. You should learn um, what the um, one thing is from our battle. I give you permission to study from the VIP seat. Ooh. Godzilla for reals! Uh, the monster heading towards Tokyo Bay has currently passed the first anti-monster bank and is, in, um, and is northbound. Kawasaki Ward, New Odaiba. The first unit is heading to subjugate it. Dude, it's fucking Godzilla! Holy shit! 
Currently, there are evacuations out for Kawasaki Ward, uh, Surumi Ward, Kanagawa Ward, and Nishi Ward. Yeah! First battery, target the left side of the monster fire. Woo! Next six battery fire. Um, amazing. They've got complete control over the monster's path. And what's making this possible is each individual troop member's outstanding abilities. All the troop members here um, most likely have released forces of 40% or higher. They're stronger than the platoon leader class. Learn, uh, learning to the plan subjugation point completed. All right, then, let's go. Kikuro Shinomiya. Manners, appearances, uh, diligence, dignity. I don't seek any of that from you. I only demand one thing. Huh? Ooh. Damn! Damn! Take that, Godzilla! Woo! Show me overwhelming powers. I don't need a well-mannered and capable person. How interesting! Power is absolute justice. Yes! I I love this manga. I do. I freaking do. And um, for those of you that don't know, um, this manga is coming out bi-weekly now, or, you know, it's coming out every other week. And I'm totally fine with that. Especially if the quality of this art is going to go up like this. Oh my god. So, overall, I'm really liking the direction this manga is going in. And as I've been saying, I want my boy Kafka to be equipped with um, the monster weapons. Because based on what we've heard, or what we've seen slash heard, is that the weapons that, um, that the defense forces um, have made, they're not capable with anyone. Uh, monster number two is... I'm only capable with uh, Esau. Um, and same, and monster number six is not capable with anyone. So it seems to me, I, I, you know, as I said, it seems to me the direction this is going to go in is that at some point, Hibino is going to be um, using those monster weapons. He will. And the reason being, at least for me anyway, this is what I'm getting, is that at some point... I don't know if it's going to be past maybe the 50% mark or hell, maybe even past uh, the 80% mark, something. Habino will lose, that's when Habino will lose control of the monster. It, it, to me, it's going to be something very similar to what we've seen in um, in Black Clover with uh, the Devil Triad. Um, and this is prior to the... Um, I'm sorry I'm spoiling Black Clover, but I have to make this point. This is prior to um, the uh, gate to the Underworld opening. And it just, to me, it would make the most sense for it to be that way. I, I really do believe that. Um, so, Matsumoto, you got a lot to live up to when you get to Chapter 50. Because in Magachan for Chapter 50, we got epicness. And I expect something epic for Chapter 50. Because for Chapter 50, what I've been saying that I wanted, I wanted to see like an epic power-up from, um, from Hibino. I would love to, obviously we're going to see Monster Number 9. Um, we're going to see Monster Number 9 by Chapter 50. We're going to see, we're going to get the return of Monster Number 9 in terms of fighting by, um, by Chapter 50. I wouldn't mind at chapter 50 that we get the confrontate the uh, rematch between Habino and monster number nine. Um, I, that actually would probably be what I want for chapter 50 is the start of the, of the rematch between um, Habino and monster number nine. That is what I want. Make it happen. Um, anyway, I'm very curious what you guys saw th these chapters what do you guys think in terms of uh, the monster weapons? Do you guys think that Habino is going to be equipped with them like I do? And when Habino was taking control of the monster, did it give you, like, um, uh, uh, oh, my God, Venom vibes? Um, when, you know, hell, when Peter Parker was trying to take control of, uh, of the symbiote um, and then he Brock was trying to take control of the symbiote. Um, what was the other one that I said that reminded me of? Shit. Not Jogon. 
God damn it. I had it off the top of my head for a sec. It's also, I just realized this. It's also kind of a lot like um, what we saw in, um, speaking of Black Clover, it's a lot like what we saw in a way like Black Clover. And um, with the, it, it's not as much as with Black Clover as with um, Aeon No Exorcist, we saw this. We saw this with, uh, we saw this with um, Mob Psycho 100, we saw this. Um, that's what, that, I knew that was very familiar, what we saw with Habino. I just couldn't, it just couldn't remember what it reminded me of. But yeah, it's, we've seen this before in a few series, but I liked how this was executed. It was very interesting. Um, I'm very curious what you guys thought of these chapters. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Monster Number 8 content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.